Hello and welcome to our first Exmoor Pony Festival virtual interview. We hope you enjoy seeing some new and familiar faces over the coming weeks. We would like to say a huge thanks to all of the contributors and if you fancy taking part yourself, please get in touch. So, our first Exmoor Pony ambassador is Charlotte Heslop. You may have seen her winning performance for the best trick in the spring Exifest. And for those who didn't see it, here it is again. Thank you. Good girl. Good girl. That was awesome. In case you missed it, that was jumping with no saddle or bridle. Well, that's not for the faint hearted. Well, I'm sure you'll agree she's a good candidate to tell us about her life with Exmoor Ponies. So over to you, Charlotte. Hello, I'm Charlotte Heslop. I'm 14 years old and I'm from Hexham in Northumberland. I've been involved in Exmoor Pony since I was seven years old when I first started riding an Exmoor called Storm at Hindley. We went on lots of adventures which included splashing through bins, going on rides and going to Wheelbrook's ice cream parlour. My favourite thing about Exmoor ponies is how versatile they are. You can do almost anything you want with them once you've got a special bond and have got to know them. Some of the things I've done with my Exmoors have been tuckless riding, cantering round arenas, standing on their backs, tricks like high fives and tapping their feet with a stick and getting them to pick them up, and something I call cape work, which is where I get a sheet and wave it about to get them to walk over it and jump over it and I'll wear it when I ride them and it's just to desensitise them and to have fun. My favourite Exmoor pony is a pony called Balin. She is so sweet and loving and she was the first Exmoor pony I got that I could call my own. She was also the first pony I did any competing on and any of my crazy stunts and tricks on. She was also the Exmoor that truly got me to love the breed and got me to keep riding them and continue loving them and wanting them. My most embarrassing moment including an Exmoor pony was when I was nine. I was in an in-hand class at Throckley Native Pony Festival and the weather was awful. The judges were wearing long coats to keep out the wind and rain and as they walked up to Fallon she got a fright and jumped on top of me and trampled me. <laughs> I was eliminated from the class and was crying because I had to leave the ring and I was so embarrassed at the time. But now I look back and laugh at how small I was leading Fallon. When I was nine, I used to watch my friend jump over this huge log on her ex racer every time we went out on a ride. And I was so excited for the day that I would finally be able to jump it on Fallon. 
when the day came, I was so proud of Fallon and I that we'd finally been able to do it, as we'd been working towards it for ages. There have been lots of funny moments with Exmoor ponies. One being when we went to summer champs with Fallon, she was too tired to get up to eat her breakfast, so she ate it lying down in her stable. Another was when we went to the Exmoor Pony Autumn Ride and Juliet forgot her tack, so she led Rosie round with everybody while we all rode. Another funny memory was when we went to visit Fallon up at her field only to find that she had been bog snorkelling with all of her friends and they were all wet and muddy. So, it looks like Fallon and her friends have been bog snorkelling. I don't think you could see because of the light, but she has a line on her and so do all of her friends where they have been swimming in a bog. Martini, do you want to be a model? Look at that beautiful face. And look at that soggy belly and legs. One of my favourite things to do with Axmoor ponies is to teach them new tricks and skills. I can remember how fun it was to teach Marigold to give me high fives and to pick up all of her feet when I tapped them with a stick. I can also remember when I first cantered Fallon round the arena standing on her back. This is one of my favourite photos. It was taken just after I won my first ever working hunter class on Fallon and I was super proud of how we did. The moment I realised that I no longer liked Exmoor ponies and I indeed loved them was when I went on my first ride out on my pony Fallon. She was so sweet and she just followed my mum along the lane like a little angel and I loved every minute of it. Somebody who has inspired me on my journey with Exmoor ponies has to be my mum. She is so lovely and is always there for me whenever I get discouraged and is always there to help me. She was the one who first taught me how to ride ponies so if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be riding Axmoors at all today. Another person who inspires me is Juliet Rogers. She is the one who allows me to ride her amazing ponies like Fallon and Marigold, and she takes me to all of my competitions and clinics, so nothing would be possible without her. There have been many ups and downs with Axmoors, but overall I've had loads of fun, been on many adventures and hope to go on many more.
that definitely should have come with a please don't try this at home warning. Charlotte is absolutely amazing. Something for us to live up to. Hope you enjoyed it. Tune in next week.